cycled to Kanas, covering 243 kilometers, just two days ago where I then took a train to Krakow. I arrived last night at Krakow Gloni train station, which I am now passing by. Very polite car drivers in Poland. Riding along an open and clear cycling track, I pushed my heavy bicycle to its limits, reaching speeds of 30-37 kilometers an hour. As I sped along, I savored the beautiful vistas surrounding me, including rivers. Even the gravel tracks couldn't slow me down. Temperature 29 degrees and rising. Three quarters of the way through the 10 kilometer climb completed. But the downhill ride is a real reward for the hard work done, offering thrilling fun as I glide down at speeds exceeding 60 kilometers per hour. What goes down must come up. Zamek Dolni. Climbing an 11% gradient for half an hour is really taking a toll on my breathing. But quickly that turns into reckless dash down. Soon a valley greets me with a chilling 10 degree temperature, a stark drop from 30 degrees just an hour ago. Cooler temperatures provided a much needed boost as twilight approached and I was still a few kilometers from my destination. I aimed to reach my camping site along the banks of Kaisuka Creek before dark. As you can see in the photo, the creek welcomed me with its stony banks where I would set up camp for the night. I've climbed 2,000 meters in elevation gain and cycled 160 kilometers through unusually high temperatures consuming copious amounts of water to conquer the mountainous terrain into Slovakia. As you can see from the charts, my power peaks hit a thousand watts during the climbs, and my heart rate frequently reached peak thresholds where breathing was a sheer challenge. 